Hey guys, it's Denise. It is Friday, April 21st, and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I went to three different Dollar Trees, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, Westminster, Maryland, and Eldersburg, Maryland. And believe it or not, Eldersburg, who has been, it's probably the smallest one out of the three, it has been um, nothing, nothing in it. I got some, um, some good stuff, so I was super surprised about that. Gettysburg, always a win, always win at Gettysburg. And Westminster, I, I always feel like they, they start to look a little bit better and then all of a sudden they look like crap. Um, but they've been looking okay. They finally got their shore living um, items in there, which I'm, I am I'm actually was really surprised because it's such a huge store. I would have thought that um, maybe they would have had, had it up faster, but, but they didn't, but whatever. Um, but let me show you, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with, um, Really, everything's kind of like just mixed up, so I'm just gonna pull, gonna pull from uh, my little desk right here. Um, like I said, Eldersburg. I really got all of uh, some, my holiday items um, there, my summer items. I don't usually buy any more trays because I have a ton of trays, but I really liked this one. Um, only thing I don't care that much about is super, super flimsy. But I would put like I would put holiday cookies on here, maybe some cupcakes, take it to a party bring it as a gift for um, a hostess uh, for Memorial Day or um, for the July. So um, it, it was pretty. They had just regular stars and then um, the stars and stripes. So be on the lookout for that. And I'm pretty sure most stores at this point have their summer their summer items out or getting most of their summer items out. Um, I was so surprised that I found these guys in Eldersburg of all places. This is super cute. I love collecting the Dollar Tree gnomes. Um, I didn't, I think I bought, only bought one uh, during Easter because I had so many from, from last year. But um, this guy is so cute. And I know last year they just had the small ones and I still have my small ones. So that's gonna look so, so nice. I'd really like to start decorating uh, from Memorial Day uh, pretty soon. So um, got this guy, so, so cute. I love. I love his Uncle Sam um, top hat that he has on. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed um, this guy. And from what I saw, I think these are um, maybe the only ones they, they have out so far this year. Maybe I did see some teeny tiny ones. Maybe maybe I saw somebody haul those. But um, super cute. These are super cute. They'll be cute little, again, gift for someone, just for yourself if you're decorating. Um, but they're really, 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 really nice. Uh, let me see what else I have here. I have so many, so many things. Like I said, it's been three stores. It's probably been two weeks since I've um, done a haul because, you know, just got stuff going on. Some good stuff. I was sick for a little bit. Uh, I ended up getting this like horrible sinus infection and um, it took me forever to get rid of it. So that's why I'm like still a horse from it. It's so weird. Um, this, I just love this. Uh, I actually really like all of these. When the Dollar Tree comes out with these wooden these wooden beads, um, they're really nice just to drape around your candle, uh, your tear tray. I don't really do tear trays anymore. I have one like Lazy Susan, so if I have a, a candle, I'll kind of like drape this around that. So it's just the American flag, and then it's got this really nice little, um, what is that? It's just like twine, maybe tassel with uh, the little red, white, and blue um, ribbon on it. So I grabbed up that. I also grabbed, excuse me, I grabbed, um, I loved this. I thought this was really, really nice and I'm probably gonna put this in my kitchen above my door. And it just says, um, America, United We Stand, 1776. It's got the, uh, the truck with the flag and stars and stuff in it. I, I love that it's this size and um, I don't know, it's nice. It's really, really nice. So, and again, I don't really need that much. Um, just the things that really stand out to me, I, um, I usually pick up. Uh, I also picked up these because I thought they were really cute. They are, um, I don't want to say like cheaper looking than any of the gnomes they've made, but they're super cute. They are super cute. I love these little summertime chilling out um, gnomes. I love all these little starfish. He's got a little drink. He's on vacation. This this gnome 
is definitely on vacation. Um, so I bought this one, super, super cute. And I actually, last year from Aldi, I bought a couple larger gnomes and they were probably like 99 cents. And this dude, um, he's just, he's in the pool. This guy's in the pool with his flamingo floaty and uh, his little snorkel and his cute little, cute little flipper feet. So hopefully your stores get them. I actually, again, I got these in Eldersburg. Super, super shocker. Um, I did see them also, I saw them in Gettysburg, and I have not, I don't think I've seen them in Westminster. When they get them in Westminster, I'm sure they will be scooped up immediately. All right, let me show you. Also, um, tonight, my 10-year-old is participating in Battle of the Books, and um, they, his team, there's about eight of them and his teachers, uh, his coach, one of his teachers is his coach. And so I went to the Dollar Tree and they all kind of wear the same outfit. Um, but their group, um, their teacher's last name is Reese and their group is uh, Reese's Pieces Reboot 2.0. So they're all just wearing the colors of Reese's Pieces t-shirts. And I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up some bucket hats and I just kind of painted on it for them. So cute. So everybody is getting a little bucket hat, and um, it actually, you know, it took me longer. I kept trying to figure out, do, do I use felt? I tried to spray paint. Well, these things got so toxic smelling. I was like, these kids are gonna pass out. These kids are gonna pass out with that smell. Um, but I don't know, I really like how they, how they turned out. They're really, really cute, and my son was really happy with them. And just to make it really fun for them, because some of the kids, like their parents go all out and do the, the, the printed t-shirt, and he said, none of the parents, um, had one of those so we didn't we didn't get any shirts you know with our name on it so that's why I had this idea to do this and um, his teacher was super happy so I really hope they like them and um, they're all just really really excited for tonight you put these right here um, so I also picked up so he's in the fifth grade and he'll be graduating fifth grade this year and I picked up some some decorations because we will have a little a little graduation party for him. So this just says uh, glitter cutouts and they are hats, graduation caps with the tassel and a bunch of different colors and it just says 2023 on it. I didn't wanna go too far because it's not like he's graduating um, high school or anything like that, but fifth grade, you know, you're moving on to a larger school after that. So I um, wanted to make it, you know, a nice celebration. So I grabbed up that. And then I grabbed, um, this just says inflatable decor and it says grad on it. And I may, um, I may find some other things, but um, I just grabbed up that. And then I found, I don't, I've never looked for this and it's, it may be a new item. The Dollar Tree may have had it for a long time. I don't really know. It is um, a balloon art strip. So I can go get some uh, balloons, like his school color school colors and try and make a little mini balloon arch. I'm not really sure. I tried to do that for my daughter-in-law's baby shower and um, we, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. It takes a lot of time and actually takes talent and it takes more than one person to do this. So um, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try Give this a try. Um, I also found more of the magazines, the Disney magazines. I was in the checkout at the Dollar Tree in... Eldersburg and they were just sitting right there and I'm having a birthday party for my seven-year-olds um, his birthday's in June and I'm actually inviting his entire class and um, these are gonna be in there they're goodie bags so you know what again I know I probably am buying too many but I will I will donate whatever I don't use and we also have a little a free little library on our street and I can send these in even just into the class for the teacher I just sent in about 25 Ranger Rick magazines. My, my mother-in-law has a, um, sends the boys a subscription and we had so many, I didn't want to pitch them. I just wanted to make sure somebody, somebody got them. So I donated them to school. So I may possibly um, do that for her, even for her, her class for next year. Save it for Wyatt's class next year. So I grabbed up that. I also found, I don't know, maybe it was Morena. I feel like she always does the best um, walkthroughs. I always think about it and I just don't, I just don't ever do it. Um, and I found, I, I, maybe it was her, I think, showed these word search. Um, my daughter loves The Office, so I grabbed her this. And you know, I mean, I may even, 
this is these are actually really good for you to do just to keep your brain healthy and I don't know instead of being on your phone and then um, I grabbed for my 10 year old I grabbed him the Star Wars ones so one is it says oh they're both search and color and it's just there's a volume one and a volume two so summertime's here right if you're chilling out by the pool or just sitting outside and you want to do something and not be on your phone these are awesome these are really really awesome and they make really good gifts add-ons to your gifts I also found um, two of these coloring books that uh, get out there it says it's a coloring book to inspire explorers so I really liked that I'll probably keep this for myself and then this classic movies coloring book so this would be really cute you put a movie with this some popcorn some candy um, if you're doing a um, no a fundraiser something I don't know I think that's kind of cool I think that's kind of cool so I grabbed up that let me see what else I have here um I uh, let's see I always flavor my water and I, I have for a long time and I know right now it's really really popular um, people doing the skinny syrups and things like that I don't always love the skinny syrup maybe I haven't purchased the right brand um, but I right now I'm drinking in my cup and I pass by this all the time when I'm in the Dollar Tree and I've never purchased it. I grabbed the root beer. So I thought, you know what, I'm just, I like the taste of root beer. I'm just gonna give it a try. I normally drink like the Sun Kiss Lemon Lime or Green Apple. The Jolly Rancher Green Apple is my absolute favorite. And um, I fill up my, I think I have a 30 ounce and I probably drink, I don't drink it with a packet in like every time, but at least twice a day. Um, I probably drink, I probably fill that up at least five times a day. Um, and I, I just, I don't know, the green, the, the Jolly Rancher uh, Green Apple is so, so good. I find that at the Dollar General and at Dollar General, they are a dollar. So I usually, every two weeks maybe, I go and I stock up on all those. And I've never seen, I bought the 7-Up at Dollar General. And I think I bought ginger ale cranberry um, at Dollar General. And it's okay, I guess I expect it to be carbonated. And it's not. And you probably could add this to zero calorie like seltzer water, you know, something like that. Um, so I am, I'm drinking right now the A&W root beer. And then I put in the French vanilla um, sweet sensations flavored syrup. And it is sugar free because I thought maybe it would taste like a dessert. It would taste like a um, root beer float or something. And it's okay. It is okay. It's not, oh my gosh, that's so good. Um, but we'll see. Sometimes when you first mix that stuff up, it's like you still have to give it time to kind of like settle. And the root beer part of it tastes really good. I don't really, I can't really taste this and I don't want to add too, too much of it. But if you're trying to, you know, if you, you know, everybody's on, on some sort of budget, you want to make yourself a fun drink, grab yourself some of these and um, some of these drink packets and make yourself a nice drink, make yourself a mocktail out of them. So the A&W root beer is okay. It's not, oh my God, it's so good, it is okay. And then I bought, this is the first time I've purchased this, it's the Watermelon Crush and I'm sure it's delicious. I'm sure it is absolutely delicious. Like I said, I, um, and I, I don't love, like strawberry's not my favorite, um, but I have tried the Jolly Rancher Watermelon and I'm gonna compare the two to this Crush and, um, give it a try so love 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 I love those things um, I found some more of the oatmeal my kids really like this I would like to find which one did I see on here I think it was the lucky charms I think Wyatt was asking me about the lucky charms and hopefully hopefully those come to my store pretty soon so I grabbed up two boxes of those I grabbed up another box of the Gerber organic uh, toddler plant tastic harvest bowl and um, you know, I'll save it for, for Theo. He has started to eat, my little grandson, he has started to eat um, everything, really. He's not, so far he's not picky. So um, I will hold on to that for, for him. And then I grabbed all of the, not all, of, but a bunch, the Simply Asia Spicy Mongolian uh, Noodle Bowl. I'm gonna give these to um, one of the younger girls at the salon she's she's definitely on a budget and um she went to the i was talking about i was eating i guess mozzarella sticks and a salad or something at work and she goes oh my god are those mozzarella sticks i said yes she said where did you get them i said the dollar tree but you know you can get them at walmart also 
So she went, we were, we, I work in Eldersburg, so she went over to the Dollar Tree in Eldersburg, and that um, cooler is never, or the freezer is never filled. So they didn't have them there, and um, she came home with some, she came back to the, to the salon with a bunch of stuff, but um, I'm gonna surprise her with these because this is a super deal. I have not priced them, but I know they're not $1.25. I know for a fact they're not $1.25, and that's a great, um, no, it's a dinner. It's absolutely a dinner. And these don't expire until August of 23. So I grabbed a spicy Mongolian for her and a spicy uh, Kung Pao. And I know, I know one of my kids has already eaten one of them and they, uh, they really liked it. So what does that say? Imported by Simply Asia Foods LLC, 24 Shikling Road, Hunt Valley, Maryland. Product of China, interesting. That is very interesting, I've never um, looked. So when I'm gonna run to Food Lion today, so I'm gonna see if they have any of these there and I'm gonna price them. So I grabbed her two of those and I have two more for us. So another um, spicy Kung Pao and then this one is um, the Thai Kitchen and this is just Pad Thai. And it says rice noodle. So pre-cooked rice noodles and sauce with vegetable topping, yum. So I grabbed up that, and this one, this doesn't expire until October. They're easy to make. I think you just, um, you put everything in the, this little bowl, and you can actually keep these bowls, add a little bit of water, and you microwave it, and it's done. So that's pretty good. I grabbed up that. I grabbed um, just one bag of these king size fruit by the foot, and I might bring those with us tonight because the boys can, um, can have snacks because they have like an intermission. I also grabbed, so these are our favorites, and at this grocery store, these are like $2.50. So I grabbed, and they were, um, Westminster was stocked with the flips, and the milk chocolate is our absolute favorite, chocolate covered pretzels. So um, I grabbed up one bag of these. Um, Jesse also grabbed up one of these to take tonight, and I'll get some water bottles and things. So this is the Chester's. Poppers Cheddar Whirls. So I grabbed up that. And when I was in Gettysburg, I saw this and I was walking past it and I was like, that looks new and it does not look like a Dollar Tree product. So as I'm you know, scrolling through YouTube, I see um, Pamela on Pamela's World. She had it um, posted up there and I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go see if I can find more. So when I was in Westminster, I found I found this. So it says live or live and clean, 98% uh, plant and naturally derived ingredients. Super fruit, quenching curl shampoo, cruelty free, and this is biotin extra body shampoo. So I grabbed up those. So I thought that was really like really awesome. Let me see what it just says. Um, adds volume to all hair types while helping to retain natural moisture and luminous shine. Enriched. With ginseng and lavender, this shampoo improves texture and manageability while creating the appearance of thicker, fuller, healthier looking hair. All right, so that's pretty awesome. So I will definitely, I will definitely try this for myself. And then this one, this is the, um, just a super fruit, super fruit quenching uh, curls is a moisture rich formula that hydrates, nourishes, and helps shape beautiful bouncing curls. Uh, micellar, micellar water helps gently cleanse without stripping moisture. Enriched with a blend of certified organic extracts, watermelon seed, aloe vera, and papaya with gentle formula will help smooth, defrizz, create the appearance of soft, defined curls. Definitely worth a try for $1.25. Um, I found, super shocked that I found these. I found these in Westminster. And to be honest with you, if they didn't have this packaging, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. But it looks like, I don't know where this has come from, um, but it looks like it's really, really good. It is called, oh, that's so funny. Um, so this is Quiet and Roar Body Wash, Coconut Banana Milk Scent. No parabens, dyes, um, I could never say that wrong, but it doesn't have anything bad in it, so it says, essential oils and it's cruelty free and it's I guess it's a body wash yes um, it says uh, soothe in sight to see 
Envision three sights to soothe your mind. Two, sense to smell. Relax with the scent of coconut and banana milk. One, texture touched. Feel the pressure, feel the pressures of life wash away as you lather. And on the back, this is cute. It says directions, you know what to do. Lather, soothe, rinse. So that's pretty awesome. I grabbed up two of these and I know there was another, um, I guess it was a purple, a purple one. But this one sounds nice. I really like coconut scent uh, body wash and shampoo. I like uh, shampoo to smell like coconut also. Um, I grabbed this ultrasonic face mister and I will totally use this. Probably not at work. I would probably use this, um, you know, if I'm outside doing something or if I'm at the beach. And I like how it's compact. And um, it says rechargeable batteries. What? Hmm. I didn't pay attention to any of that. Let's see. Okay. So you just plug it in, charge it up. Wow. That's awesome. And again, what a cute, cute little gift. So there you go. I mean, totally perfect for your beach bag. So I grabbed up that. Um, I found, uh, which I thought this was really nice, just this little organizer for your brushes. It just says lips and eyes, and I know they had a pink one, but I liked the black. And then I found, again, Marina was um, doing one of her walkthroughs, and she was showing these. I just think these are adorable. Um, I would love to do like a paint night or something like that, or even just for myself, sit outside, sit in my kitchen, and um, paint these. So these are, the Shore Living LED Shore Unfinished Wood Lanterns. So I don't know if you can see how cute these are. This has just got um, starfish and some, uh, I don't know, al is that algae and clownfish and shells. And um, I don't know, it's just really, really cute. So if it's something, if you wanted to do an activity, if you wanted to have kids do an activity, um, just go ahead and, uh, I don't even know how to turn that on. I guess that's something to pull out, pull in, pull out. I don't know, but these are easy to replace. Those are super, super, super easy to replace if it's not working. <gasps> oh, almost dropped it. And then I got, I think that, oh, here we go. And then I got the palm trees. I love this. This would look great, even if you just wanted to stain it and put it on your deck. You could totally whitewash this. Um, again, makes a great, great little gift. Great little gift and great little activity. So it's that one. And then this one's actually one of my favorites. This lighthouse. Not, oh, wait a minute. There we go. I really like the lighthouse. So be on the lookout for those. Shore Living LED Unfinished Wood Lanterns. So cute. So, so cute. So I think that's it. I might be going to the Dollar Tree tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh good, it, okay, I just didn't do it right. There it is. If not, it'll probably be Monday. I'm busy at work and then my husband and I are going out on a date tomorrow night. I think we're going to Gettysburg somewhere. Um, but I'm sure we're not going to the Dollar Tree. So guys, that is it. It's kind of a large haul for me. Um, like I said, I haven't been able to do one in, in a while so um, I couldn't wait to set aside some time and show you guys. So guys, thank you so much for uh, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love I would love for you to do so. My name is Denise, this is Denise's Halls. I, um, I go to Walmart, Aldi, and the Dollar Tree, but my main jam, my main store is the Dollar Tree. I love, I love going through there. I love rummaging through, through everything and finding awesome treasures and showing, showing you guys. So um, again, like, share, subscribe, and have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.